thank you for joining Maria Loves to Talk, or maybe Love to Blab. No, I do not exaggerate. I do not make up. I do no fabrication, you guys. Hey, what's up with you? How's life been treating you? Everything's working in your favor. You're having fun. Y'all getting ready for the Halloween? <laughs> Y'all getting ready for Thanksgiving and Christmas, you guys and gals? I can't believe it. I cannot believe we are back at this time again, getting ready for the holidays. Getting ready for turkey or fried Cajun turkey. Getting ready for that honey baked ham. Getting ready for them little Christmas toys, the little Christmas dresses. Whew, you got busy little bee. I've been trying to be busy. Watch my videos I just downloaded a few days ago on celebrity divorces and breakups. I uh, so have some more to do. Um, I'm probably going to have to hire one of my little niece's friends to help me because it's just a lot, especially when you have a job. Yeah, I work, you guys. I don't understand. I see how some people can come. They do videos like every five minutes. Some people put out eight videos or ten videos a day. They probably don't have a job, but that, that is their job, especially if they have like 100,000 or 75,000 subscribers, they're probably getting anywhere, you know, from five to $20,000 a month. And, you know, so they can do that. But as other people, uh, talking about that, <laughs> I was enjoying a nice little cozy nap in my car yesterday, enjoying that cool breeze. Uh, it's not hot, it's not high humidity. Listen to my little gospel radio station. I mean, it was just so beautiful. I'm so enjoying this weather and I'm so enjoying pumpkin spice, pumpkin this, pumpkin that. Everywhere I went, I went to Kroger's and Walmart. I'm just seeing pumpkin, pumpkin, pumpkin. I'm just enjoying it. But no, I will not. Wait a minute, you guys. I bought that pumpkin. It's pumpkin something. And I normally do not buy. Don't get me, Starbucks. Because we don't have that kind of money in my house. Okay? We've got dogs and stuff to feed. Okay? So I bought that little pumpkin spice coffee latte drink at Kroger's. I think it was like three something. And there was a Starbucks inside of Kroger's. But I said, let me just buy the, the little bottle. Okay? And it tasted, but hey, $3.79. I could have bought a big old thing of Tropicana, or I could have went to at home or to uh, Burlington and got a thing of Starbucks pumpkin spice little coffee K-Cups uh, because I didn't find it to be all that and it wasn't. I really couldn't even taste pumpkin in it. I'm just saying, don't get me Starbucks people. What am I doing today? What I'm talking about today, you guys, I have a lot of stories I have to catch up. I got kind of behind doing the celebrity divorces. Please check them out. Cardi B and Offset, they will begin back together. Together, I, I predicted. Judge Mathis and his wife, Linda, they will begin back together. Together. I don't know about J-Lo and Ben. I think that's done. Um, don't know about Jody. Uh, I want to say Jody Foster. Jody Turner Smith. I don't think she's going back to Joshua Jackson. He's already with Lupita Nalongo. And I have more uh, videos, but I have to stop and go back to true crime, dating horrors. So that's what these videos will be about. I will do one video at a time. I might squeeze in two, but I'm not going to try to load up three or four because I know I've already had family, friends, neighbors, co-workers. I, girl, I can't do the video to be too long. You guys, some of y'all sit up and y'all watch those podcasts for two or three hours. God, yes. Let me stop. This is too funny. So without further ado, Go get you some snacks. I don't know. Pepsi Cola, Zero, Dr. Pepper, turkey sandwich, water. Oh, got a story about watermelon. Watermelon, kiwi, grapes. I'm so tired. You guys, please tell me you're not one of those people walking at Walmart, walking in Kroger's, walking at Winn-Dixie or Menards, walking at Safeway, walking around with your little basket with a big thing of grapes eating the grapes or i saw one guy and it was so funny and it's just weird how people have perceptions about people and um, um get me 
they be around in the store eating the fruits. Fruits haven't even been washed. Do y'all know, I work in the food industry so I can talk. Do y'all know what kind of bugs, insects, be in them food, them, them fruits and veggies? Do y'all know? Okay, so, uh, so it was a white guy and he wasn't old, old, but he looked like middle age and he was just walking around. He had, I don't look, homeboy had the grapes and he had threw him some blueberries and strawberries. He called himself making him a smorgasbord. I get, I have never seen it. He took the blueberries and I just looked. And, uh, she said, he gonna, he gonna buy it. And I looked at her like, how you know he gonna buy it? Why, why would you assume? You just assume, so you just, you know, you just assume that he's gonna buy it because he done took the, the grapes and the blueberries and even threw some strawberries and he just walking around the store and everywhere I went and then I had my buggy and then she had a buggy and we looking and I'm like, I'm through. I'm through you guys. <laughs> then went to Kroger's, saw a, another couple. Uh, they had the little watermelon that's already cut. They all eating the water. No, they were not black. Uh, eating the watermelon. <laughs> And then I saw an older uh, black man. He had stopped me and asked me for something. I don't know what he was asking me about. But I was he was chewing. I was trying to see what he was chewing. And then he kept spinning out something to the side. And I looked. Oh, he had some grapes. <laughs> you guys. I don't, I'm sorry. I guess I'm, I have OCD. I didn't know it. I'm just real funny in particular about food, about who I eat from, who can prepare my food. I'm real funny and picky about stuff. And I have to wash, and I'm carrying sanitizer everywhere I, I go, <laughs> you guys. I'm sorry. But hey, without further ado, let's get on to this video. Yes, let's get on to my videos, you guys. Uh, I, and I, again, I want to thank my new subscribers. Thank you. And I want to thank my older subscribers that's been with me. Thank you. <laughs> you guys. So hey, let's go ahead and get started. Guys, the first video, and this reminds me, and you know I'm long with it, and, and I see all these stories, they always remind me of another story. Uh, this is coming from Fox 8. Okay, missing nurse found deceased, deleted, after never showing up for work, neighbor charged with murder. Isn't this similar? to the elderly couple uh, that went missing. I don't know if they went missing from the nudist camp and they were found at somebody's house or under somebody's house or something like that. So here, this is in Portland, Oregon. Never saw it on the news, at least not here in my town. Uh, the search for a missing nurse in Oregon has ended in tragedy. According to Beaverton Police, Providence St. Vincent nurse Melissa Jubane, 32, has been found deceased and her neighbor is facing a murder charge. Jubane went missing earlier this week and authorities said they were informed of her disappearance on Wednesday after she did not report for her morning shift at the hospital. Beaverton Police Search Jubane. Morning of a sad development in a case we've been following for you since Thursday. An Oregon nurse with Hawaii ties who was reported missing is dead. 32-year-old Melissa Jubane was first reported missing on Wednesday when she didn't show up for her job in Portland. After days of searching in her hometown of Beaverton, her remains were found. Local police tell us her neighbor, identified as 27-year-old Bryce Jonathan Schubert, is believed to be involved in her disappearance. Schubert has been arrested and charged with Jubain's murder. Jubain's husband, Brian Leontero, is originally from Hawaii, and the couple was just married in Haleiwa last week. Police have recovered Melissa Jubain's remains, but have yet to say exactly where she was found, arresting her neighbor, 27-year-old Bryce Schubert, who they believe was involved in her disappearance. He's now facing a charge of second-degree murder. 
Oscar Cardenas met Melissa Jubain years ago while working at the Nike company store when they were both students at the University of Portland, saying she always wanted to help people and reach her goal of one day becoming a nurse. Such a hard worker, such a sweetheart. Um, and being a nurse, that's like just the most selfless career ever. They kept in touch over the years through Instagram. She had such a beautiful life and just such great people around her. Every time she posted on Instagram, she was so happy and just so, like, I don't know, just glowing. Both settling down at the same apartment complex in Beaverton off Southwest 160th Avenue and Baseline Road, where Melissa went missing on September 4th. This area of town is just so quiet and so calm and so safe, so it's just shocking that something like that would happen here. Setting off searches by family, friends, and most importantly, Beaverton police. During their investigation, police said they learned Melissa's neighbor, Bryce Schubert, was involved in her disappearance, arresting the 27-year-old on a charge of second-degree murder. It's like, how is this happening in my own backyard, my own apartment complex? Um, but yeah, it's just terrifying, honestly. It's, it's scary that, you know, somebody could take away such a beautiful life, so young too. Recovering Melissa's remains, but holding off on saying exactly where. I can't even wrap my head around it. It's just so heartbreaking that it would happen here and, and, uh, we're just gonna miss seeing her, seeing her beautiful smile and just light up the energy around us. Now, Melissa was an RN at Providence's St. Vincent Medical Center, which is close to her home. They alerted police Wednesday morning when she didn't show up to her shift. They say her friends, family, and co-workers are in their hearts and prayers. We will have more details on this as Beaverton police continue to release more information. Back to you. Oh, that's sad. It's him. I don't know why they're not showing. I'm on X, um, X on Twitter. Somebody named Rose or Lulu is posting a picture of the guy, young white guy, blonde, uh, look like he has green eyes or something, gray eyes. So he is allegedly the one who did it. But I'm trying to figure out, um, does she know him? Okay, her husband, okay, she's Asian, her husband... He also looks Asian or Hawaiian. I guess that's, that's Asian too. He Hawaiian. He looks Hawaiian. But this Bryce Schubert guy, that sounds German. He's a white guy. So I don't know if he had a crush on her. I'm going to try to get y'all more information. But this lady just got married. Did she always live in? I've got so many questions, you guys. Did she always live in this apartment? Did she briefly date this guy? Did he stop her and ask her for something and then, uh, I don't know, pull her into his apartment? Was he trying to grape her? Uh, was he mad at her husband for something? Or, you know, as they say, I mean, I shouldn't say as they say, was this some type of racist hate crime i'm just wondering uh golly this is this is scary you guys i keep telling you women we got to be locked and loaded or should i say glock and loaded and have some type of self-defense and be aware of your surroundings people are watching you people are looking you don't know. You don't, you can't think, oh, well, the little guy that looks like he's a harmless little guy, he would never do anything. That be the ones, you guys. That be the ones. Okay, so moving on. This is WJBF. Friends and family remember Augusta man beaten to death. Two suspects now in custody. Wow. Augusta, Georgia. The Richmond County Sheriff's Office has informed News Channel 6 that a second suspect has now been arrested in the beating death of Elias Delk, D-E-L-K, on June the 15th. This is current. The Sheriff's Office, along with Southeast Regional Task Force, arrested 37-year-old Creston Curry. What kind of name is that? Creston Curry? Like, Creston? Uh, they say Curry was also wanted for other outstanding warrants. 
Don't you hate it? Should have already been in jail, but he was out roaming around to commit another crime. It's been just over a month since Elias Delk was beaten to death at the Dollar General on Martin Luther King Boulevard. His former co-workers say they still can't believe what happened. I didn't believe it. I called his phone over and over and over and over again because it was just horrible. To hear about how it was done, I was like, it was just a shock. Nobody deserves to be, like, beat to death. So, yeah, it was kind of, it was rough. Investigators say Tamiko Bolton and several other people beat Delk using their fists, feet, and a stick. Delk suffered broken ribs and a punctured lung before he died from his injuries. His mother, Jacinda, sharing the same shock. I was actually supposed to volunteer at a Father's Day conference here in Dallas. And as I was preparing to get ready, I got a knock on the door. And a cop police officer told me that Elias Delk was no longer with me. That shattered my whole world. Now they're remembering the man who meant the world to them. He came to Augusta to turn his life around after a troubled past, working at Finch and Fifth for the last two years. Friends and family say they knew him best for his work ethic and radiating positivity. The Masters of 2023, I, I believe, while practicing Ramadan strictly and fasting, uh, he worked 70 hours that week. He had an infectious smile, so he was determined. If I ever said anything neg negative, he would just like rebuke the statement. Like, mom, I can't even think like that. Um, he was determined to turn his life around. He should still be here living life and enjoying life and celebrating his life. And uh, yeah, my heart is crushed. And I'm, in, I'm still in somewhat disbelief that this happened. The sheriff's office has not identified any other suspects, but investigators say more arrests are expected. We have information on how to support the Delk family on our website, WJBS. And we're guessing with these type of bullies, because that's basically what they are, coward bullies, hyena, male hyenas, uh, uh, Brahma bull, not even Brahma bulls, just hyena. Um, they pick on... People who are alone by themselves, small people, elderly people, uh, people who are uh, petite, they pick on them. So here, there's a video floating around and, and several people were involved in getting my son jumped. He was begging for his life and asking them to stop. He wasn't even fighting back and they continued on, just like animals. Feral, rabied animals. I'm saying that, you guys. They beat him with a bat or a branch. What would make someone that angry to want to do someone who's not even fighting back? I don't get it. I'm trying to figure out what was some things being left out. Who is just walking around? If you go to the Dollar General, how? Because how, I've been to the Dollar General. I'm just not just walking around going inside the Dollar General with a, a baseball bat, with a branch. What, did they know him? Why, uh, okay, let's, let's get some more information. She added the video shows his last breath as his attackers rummage through his pockets. Instead of calling the cops, they're running through his pockets, taking off his belt and turning him over, Beverly said. I feel like there's definitely a full video out there that needs to be turned in, but it ended up on social media. She said she's been praying to God that she finds out what the motive was because authorities told her the suspects did not even know her son. Do you hear me? They said they didn't even know her son. He was an aspiring musician, athlete, and dedicated father. Doug born in Atlanta was raised uh, with his sister Beverly and his father. I kept him busy and made sure he was involved in a lot of sports and activities. I just wanted to make sure he had everything that I didn't have growing up. So I'm just still stuck on stupid. So again, we see that people can just see you. You just walking around minding your business or driving your car or walking your dog or with your family or in the parking lot and they just don't like you. Or basically, they see you as an easy lick to rob 
And that's what they want. And to see a woman involved in this is what get me all these women out here committing heinous crimes, even with the men. It, it's just unreal to me. It's on GoFundMe. Ah, uh, the more it says it doesn't exist. It was a memorial. She probably should have done it on GoFundMe. That's sad. Prayers go out to Mr. Elias, Elias Delk, his family, his little boy. Uh, at least I'm glad that they was able to catch uh, these freaking um, monsters, these criminals. It makes no sense. You just going to the Dollar General and you, you just happen to have a baseball bat and you see a guy walk out, you following him because you, you trying to get a few change and it's several of y'all and there's a woman involved in this out of the bunch. I don't want to assume that everybody that's got those, I don't know what you call it, neck tattoos that must be in a gang. I see the woman's covered in tattoos on her neck. Uh, this is from the Augusta Press. Um, so here, uh, July the 29th, uh, Tamiko Shanice Bolton, 36, was charged Thursday with murder and the death a 28 year old. All these people are old. This guy, 28. She, 36. The other guy, Creston Curry, whatever, he, 37 or something. You, we got people old enough to know better, should be a role model, should be doing positive things, should be helping pick up trash and cleaning up. MLK Boulevard, instead of doing that, they destroy MLK Boulevard with a bunch of foolishness and nonsense. Dunk had been beaten by a group of people with their fist, feet, and a stick, leaving with him a toes. But nobody can say, that's why I'm, I'm just trying to see, read, that's why I'm reading somewhere else, to see if they know why. What was it? Dunk had been beaten to death and suffered multiple blunt force. Bolton was captured Thursday, hell in Charles Detention Center. Bolton uh, has a long list of arrests in the area. In 2007, she was arrested for possession of controlled substance with the intent to distribute, but the firearm was charged, was dismissed, and her plea for drug dealing charged down to disorderly conduct. Other previous charges include shoplifting, in 2009 and 2014, DUI in 2014, two criminal trespass arrests in 2015, a long list of traffic offenses. So she is not a Girl Scout. She is not a Girl Scout and she is not related to the Virgin Mary. I shouldn't say that, but yeah. You guys, prayers go out to, to this young man, his baby little boy for uh, healing for um, protection, at least these people have been caught. I hope they get the other people because it wasn't just those two. They said it was several people beating, kicking. All of them should get life in prison. Stop giving these thugs, heathens, hyenas, male hyenas a pass. Stop giving them the affluenza. Throw the book at them. S send them off to Antarctica or to... Uh, Siberia, or, or I don't know, Dr. Moreau's Island or something. You guys, though, so that's the end of my video. Uh, give, leave me your comments. I appreciate your comments. Um, and keep these people lifted up in prayer. Stay healthy, happy, and blessed. Thank you.